This is the Night Wolf howling at you, and today we're going to take a look at the Legends of Dragonor. This is from FOMO Toys. As I recall, originally they were going to use the name Lords of Power, but Mattel put a stop to that since that was the original name for the Masters of the Universe, and they had used that in a recent, well, not recent anymore, but when they first started the Masters of the Universe, they did do their uh, Lords of Power set based on some of the earlier toy designs. This is part of the early bird kit here. That's the actual box of figures there. But the early bird kit gave us the Dragonor Castle, which I don't know if they'll actually get around to making it as a toy itself, but it does expand to give you, well, nothing inside there at the moment, but the doors open this way. Little dragon heads like that, but if you can actually get it to open in the square form, inside, Inside the back, you could see the, uh, this is not going well, is it? I need two more hands. But anyway, you could see we've got like kind of a pit in there in the middle of the castle, which I guess makes some sense. Usually the moat is on the outside, but the moat is on the inside in this one. Anyway, it is kind of a nice idea and looks almost like some of the old inhuman, one of those old inhumanoid figures, the one that, you know, would open up its chest in order to uh, capture the enemies. But that was probably the early bird kit. And they did a really good job packing these. First up, we have Barbaro, the heroic leader. And these things come with a piece of divine armor. Back of the box. I will go into a little bit more detail as I go over each individual character, but for now, let's just keep opening them up. We have Oscuro, evil magician. I believe he is supposed to be the bad guy of the series. Next up we have Karem, Brave Mystical Warrior. He's also made out of clear plastic, so hopefully that doesn't become one of those ones that gets brittle and shatters later. We have Onitur. Merciless Hunter of Dark Asia. Dark Asia? Basically, he looks like he's kind of meant to stand out as an Oni from uh, Japanese mythology. That's four so far. <sighs> Next up, we have Pantera. Silent Huntress. I'm not actually sure which side she's supposed to be on. She may also be the first one not based on a... Never mind, I won't say it. But, uh... She does, uh... She does kind of resemble a female humanoid version of Panthor. And last but not least... What a mess. We have Yandara, Heroic Chieftain. So apparently she's in charge of the uh, tribe. Uh, originally, uh, the original designs I remember seeing for this line, she looked like she was meant to be uh, Sharella from the, uh, uh, similar to Sharella from the, uh, um, 
Oh, I just had a brain fart. Powers of Grayskull line. You know, the, the uh, archer chick that you saw in the uh, some of the artwork back in the day. The, uh, the boxes are really, really well done, though. It's too bad that his little tabby thing came out. Uh, but the car stock is actually really thick, thicker than anything that you get in the stores right now. Um, and even the plastic here feels like it's a heavier duty plastic than what we normally get. I kind of don't even want to open these up, to be honest, because they're just really so nice looking. But I'm going to because, you know, that's what you're here for, right? Plus, who wants to have toys if you don't want to open them? You know, it's just, you know, it's just common sense. Anyway, um, I think what I will do is just keep this as this unboxing one. And then I will maybe open them up in pairs um, to uh, review or maybe just singly. I don't know yet. Depends upon how long it takes to do them. But you know what? Oh. I do kind of wish the uh, the hanging tabs weren't falling out so easily. And I will say this, since they are creating new lore, it's nice to see that they are giving us a lot of information on them. I'm just... I guess it's three and three for good guys and bad guys here because I'm just kind of assuming that Merciless Hunter and Silent Huntress are meant to go on the evil side and uh, Heroic Brave and Heroic are supposed to be on the good side. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. So we're playing a bit of a time travel game here with... Um... I've opened up all the figures, completed the mystic or the divine armor, and all the figures are sitting here now for the first wave of the Legends of Dragonor. Uh, all the separate reviews will be posted after this one, of course. And I think these toys are all overall really, really nice. the The designs are good. They put a lot of effort, I think, into the paint and the deco especially on the Divine Armor. And actually, Oniter's armor has a lot of detail to it. So, they should still be available if you go to the uh, Fomor Toys website, or Mole Toy website, and uh, you can still get them there. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store probably has some up still as well, and you might still be able to get the Early Bird Kit through uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I don't think that's still available, but on uh, the FOMAR, FOMO website, but you can go ahead and check that out anyway. Uh, they also have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive set that was uh, Barbero, um, Oscura, and the Divine Armor in a recolored set. In that case, I believe Oscuro was um, done in clear plastic. But uh, I do have that ordered, actually. Uh, you can get it for, I think, 147 on the FOMO Toys site, or 228 I think, on the Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, and then, of course, you can also order the um, Wave 1.5 with the alternates. Uh, I've seen pictures where they're going to be doing dragons as well for this series, although I'm not sure. It looks like they have saddles, but they're designed so they can stand or ride on all fours. But I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work with the way the legs are on these ones. Uh, part of the reason why it worked so well with Masters of the Universe and animals and vehicles is because they had that rubber band in them in order to um, you know, stretch and fit properly inside. These ones don't really have that option. and also, uh, as the as you watch the other reviews, just note that uh, I started learning more about the articulation as I went. Um, 
but yeah, the boot cuts are all on here on the figures are able to spin around. Ah, uh, I'm suspicious that maybe the hands on the female ones can do that too, but it doesn't look like they have a wrist cut. However, on the male characters, so again, we got the boot cut and the wrist will spin as well, the forearm. At least on most of them. Uh, some of them are still really tight and I'll have to heat them up and try again later. But anyway, I, if you like Masters of the Universe, I do not think you will be unhappy with the purchase of these figures either. And they will go more or less with your vintage lot of characters if you want. Um, they will look maybe a little out of place with Origins, but not too bad, really. And who doesn't want more bad guys to go with your villains in Masters of the Universe? Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you watch all the other um, videos for this. And sadly, the one for um, Karem was cut a bit short due to circumstances surrounding my recording. Peace and love. Take care.